Hi, it's Donna Heifel. Welcome to Corelight TV. I know it's been a couple of weeks since we've had a workshop, but we've been talking about rolling out a sales initiative and how you do that. Now, we have discussed the importance of the why, of the benefits, of the honesty of why something's being rolled out and not going for the corporate speak and saying all the proper things that nobody believes. Um, and then, really today, I'm going to kind of wrap it up with the last two aspects. Once you've really established the why and had leadership communicate honestly, then you've got to go with how it is done. And it's kind of like if you watch a football game and you know they have playbooks, but then the quarterback also has on his wrist a, really a quick reference guide to all of the plays that he's supposed to actually run. And they work on these every day of the week. And they still need that quick reference guide. And I think too often, when when we roll out something new, and let's say it is a sales initiative, we put everybody through massive training, we have you know our big balloon kickoff, and then it's like, go forth and do this. And people don't know how. So you've got to make sure that people are clear on the how. Um, for example, when I first got into social media just a few months ago, I started out and you know somebody sat down and said, here are all the things you need to do. I thought, okay, these are all good things, and then when he would tell me that, I'd be really engaged and excited, but then he would leave and I would think, I have no idea how to do this. I don't even know how to get onto the site, much less type in the stuff that I'm supposed to type in. I was missing the incremental steps that it took to get to actually doing what I was asked to do. And here is my biggest point of this workshop. To make any behavior change stick, I don't care if it's weight loss or roll out of a sales initiative, you've got to have someone who is managing to it and coaching it on at least a weekly basis but in reality a daily basis you have to have that person that is saying how are you doing at this are you uncomfortable how can I help you feel more comfortable that's praising people when they're doing it right and that is correcting them when they're doing it incorrectly uh, right now I am partnering with a company a relationship I'm very excited about but part of that partnership requires me to do a lot more cold calling it's been a long time since I've done cold calling. I've been in business 10 years and had gotten to the point where I had my own clientele built up to the point that cold calling really wasn't something that I had to do a lot of. I tell you what, I've got to make myself sit down and do this every day. And it would be great if I had a coach, but just think about what if I were new to a job? What if I had never done prospecting? And somebody says, okay, we're going to send you to training and here's the tool. All oh, that's good. Now go do it. The odds are behavior change feels uncomfortable. So if there's any way in the world as that new employee I can get away with not making those cold calls and do other things in my job, I'm going to do the other things because they feel more comfortable. So what I want to say in this workshop is if you are rolling out any kind of new behavior or initiative, if you do not have people in place to reinforce it on a daily or weekly basis, it is not going to stick. I don't care how much a company has convinced you it's the magic bullet. I don't care how good the training was. Not because people are malicious, not because they're lazy, but because the behavior is uncomfortable and nobody wants to fail. 85, 90% of the world wakes up every morning and says, I want to do a good job at work today. They don't want to undercut a new initiative, but the fact is they have to know the why, the how, and then they have to have somebody encouraging them and coaching them on a regular basis. And that's it. That is our workshop for today. It was good talking with you all, and I will see you again next week because at Core Light, we believe in the power of light. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon.